Hello Fermion friends, today we're going to talk about the WebAssembly component model and how it works in SPIN 2.0. Polyglot programming is the practice of using different languages to write different pieces of one whole application. So for example, we might write an application that has parts written in Python, parts in Rust, parts in TypeScript, but when we execute the whole thing, it executes as a single application. Traditionally, this has been a very hard thing to accomplish in computer science. However, with the rise of the WebAssembly component model, it is now part of the way that WebAssembly works. The way that WebAssembly handles this is we essentially build libraries in different languages. We compile each of these libraries to WebAssembly, and then we let the runtime link our libraries together into one big application. So let's walk through a very simple example. Say I'm writing a web backend, and I'm writing it in TypeScript. I'm working away, writing my code, and I get to a part that's particularly computational and uh, computationally intensive. And I say, ah, oh, I don't really wanna write that kind of mathematical processing in TypeScript. Instead, I just want a couple of functions that do these particular operations, and, and I'll call those and, and I'll implement those somewhere else. Now I flip over to Python and I say, all right, in Python, I can write code li like this very conveniently because I have the NumPy library to work with. And so I'm going to write some code that provides exactly those functions that the other application needs. So here I have an import where I say from TypeScript, I need to import something that does this. And here on the Python side, I have an export that says I have these functions that I am exporting that accomplish this. So let's say I keep going with my TypeScript thing. Eventually I get to some date processing. And I say, ah, I don't really like doing my date processing in TypeScript. I really like the way that Go does it. Go has an elegant date and time library. So I'm gonna use that to write my date library here. So once more in TypeScript, I say, hey, I need to import something that processes dates like this. And in my Go code, I say, all right, I'm gonna export a couple of functions that do exactly that. So these are each gonna get compiled to WebAssembly. So at the end of this one, I will have three distinct WebAssembly libraries. Each of these is a component. Now the runtime, using the runtime, I can stitch together these libraries and say, okay, when these all run as an application, this particular import is satisfied by this export and this import is satisfied by that export. So now the WebAssembly runtime itself handles all of the behind the scenes stuff. So when TypeScript calls out to my implementation, it calls out to the functions that have been exported from Python, and it basically glues all of this together into one big application. The best part of this though, is that from my TypeScript code, I don't even have to know what languages these other libraries were written in, because to me, it's just importing another library and calling that library's functions or using that library's objects. That's the WebAssembly component model, and that's how it works in SPIN. If you want to give it a try, go to developer.fermion.com SPIN and read up on the component model and start building away your very first polyglot application with WebAssembly. With that, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.